Hi, uh, I thought I'd just put together a video capture in relation to the um, motivational interviewing video assessment. Uh, so I suppose first of all the process, what actually happens? Um, well in the lead up to the assessments you will have um, chosen a partner to work with, someone else from the course. You will have talked about which part of the MI process you wish to illustrate in the role play um, and uh, you will have uh, thought through the kinds of interventions that you hope to demonstrate in that short uh, short period. So the time scale is in terms of the, the actual interview is about five to seven minutes very close to the five if you can and in that time as I say you'll the process will be that uh, you will come into the room, you'll be invited into the room um, it'll be, my, be myself and uh, Julian who will be uh, observing. Uh, you will briefly set the scene for us. Who is it you're interviewing? What stage of the process you are at? Is it the first time you've met? Is it halfway through? Um, are you, you could actually choose to illustrate some very specific elements of the MI process. So if you wish to illustrate uh, working with and resolving ambivalence, that's absolutely fine. If you wish to demonstrate rolling with resistance, that's fine. Uh, the engagement process. It is, it is up to you. The idea here is that you are being provided with an opportunity to, to demonstrate that you can utilize some of the skills that we've explored over the last few weeks. Um, and given that we are talking about a few weeks, there is no expectation that you are be going to be experts in the MI process. Um, the one of the, the, the purposes of capturing your work on video is so that you can then take that away, um, reflect on it, and then in that reflection demonstrate a deeper awareness of the MI processes. So your reflection will include elements of, well, what did I do well in that uh, short interview? What did I think... Uh, what did you think tied in very neatly with the, the theoretical uh, elements of MI? Um, what responses were particularly salient? As well as a reflection on things that you felt, well, I, I perhaps could have done something differently. I could have done something else there. Maybe I, I could have left a longer pause. Um, maybe I could have talked a little bit less. Uh, maybe I missed a real key phrase uh, or, or word that the interviewee used that might have allowed me to to probe a little deeper and explore things in a little bit more depth. Um, so that that sort of for me is is a good sort of uh, capturing of, of what's expected of you. In terms of the the, the, the reflection, um, we are working at MSc level. There is an expectation that you're going to be able to make connections with MI theory. Um, and so there will be an expectation that you know, your reflection has a reference list. You, you can demonstrate that you've read around the MI um, literature uh, and you've been able to use that in a focused way when analysing and reflecting upon your interview. <coughs> uh, so, so coming back just to, to finish off the process, you'll, you'll come in, you'll do your interview. Um, Julie and I, and Julian and I will give you some very brief feedback, maybe a couple of questions, um, and then you just reverse the process. So, you know, you, you're working in pairs, you, you, you're not doing it in front of the rest of the group. Um, the Once the whole sequence has been run through with all members of the group, uh, the videos will then be made available on Blackboard. Uh, so, not available to anyone else, but just available within the group. Um, and uh, that allows you then to, to have free access to, to build your reflection, as it were. Um, I hope that this helps.